Hey y'all, my name is Naya. I make vlog style content and today I have a vlog. Hey y'all, I have a haul. Duh! I have a few items from Pretty Little Thing as well as ASOS.com that I want to show you guys. It's really not much that this video should go super fast. I know it's a bit of early to be shopping for spring, summer-ish, but it's really never too early. The closer it gets to time, the higher the prices get and the more things are sold out. So, a few essential pieces that I needed. So, there's a few little dresses, some pants that's actually good for right now. As well as some spring and summer shoe attire. It's more so of accessories that'll be the stars of the show today. So, anyway, enough of the chit chat. Let's get started. We're going to start with ASOS. To start us off real cute, I have these hair clips. One thing that I've noticed about myself when it comes to wearing like any sort of bundles and tresses and or even braids. A ponytail holder doesn't always do it. Like, you want to to look cute and you can't always do it up with a ponytail holder but hair clips hair clips are gonna give to the girls so i bought these hair clips this is the hair clip that i usually use it's pretty basic it's just black and so i just wanted some more to spice up my life i was low-key a little catfish not even gonna lie because when the clips actually arrived they're much much smaller than what they look like online i can't even lie but they're cute and they actually hold really well to ensure the safety of my hair not falling down though i usually pair one of these with the black clip but honestly they're all really really cute so lately i've been looking for my everyday bag i have a lot of bags not ashamed to say it and i love each of them equally wear them all but i've just been looking for that one staple bag like that one little bag not too big not too little just to put the right amount of stuff in and i finally found that bag look at her she's so basic and that's what what's the best part about it. This bag is super, super normal. It comes with a strap and I love these type of bags. Handbags are cute, but strap bags are better. There are three portions to the bag, the back, the middle, and the front portion. Each with a nice amount of sizing in them all, especially these big pockets. I still have the paper inside, but baby, you can fill these to the brim. This is perfect. I can even throw my little SD cards in the front when filming. And it's just like, it's just a vibe. Why is it just such a vibe? And when you get a new bag, of course you get a new wallet. I have this wallet that's like this big. It's time for a change. So I also got myself a wallet to also go within it. A very, very sleek look to it. I, I love it here. Lastly, I have some shoes. I put the ones that are on my feet because I've been wearing them the entire video and literally ever since I got them, they have not come off my feet once. And it's these babies right I here. I don't know what they're called right now, but I'll probably likely have it on the screen or something. But these are the most comfortable house shoes that i ever worn in my life. Luckily, you could wear them outside because of how the bottom is created. It's kind of thick enough that it won't be ruined if you walk outside on gravel or concrete with I it. I personally have house shoes that I wear so I'm not bringing these babies outside no matter what at all costs. I'm keeping them together. You see my toe in dents because I've been wearing them. I'm not exaggerating. I've literally been wearing them every day. They actually throw a little height on me. If you can't tell, I kind of already look different in height. <laughs> they're slightly platformed, not by much, but honestly, they're just a look. These are so beautiful. With it on, my normal height. With the shoe on, normal height. You see? You see? Yeah. I love them. I'm also a size nine, by the way. I'm very small, but I have a very large foot. We're not gonna talk about it. Moving up next, girl. I cannot wait to wear these shoes because I'm going to step. Come on now. Come on now. I know a lot of the girlies do not like the heel sandal look, but girl, this is my first pair and I'm in love. I'm in love, okay? I can wear seven inch heels. I can wear any kind of heel. Seven is probably the highest I'll but go. But this heel is like literally just the right amount of dents that I won't break and fall and bust my behind. And it's also supportive because of the flip flop top. Like girl. Tell me you don't like these shoes. I dare you. I dare you. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to wear them. It's a look. The final pair of shoes that I have to show you are all these. They're from the Truffle Collection. They actually are a wide fit shoe. I have a very narrow flat foot. 
so i mean it's not that bad actually it doesn't look that bad it doesn't feel kind of weird but i wish they did make it not so wide it's more of a cushiony top they're not extremely hard on the inside but they are definitely not cushioned whatsoever i don't know i just needed a basic sandal because i don't know i just don't have any the bottom material is a little weird i don't know how to explain it i don't know they're just cute since we already done some shoes, we're gonna go ahead and move into the shoes from Pretty Little Thing. First pair of shoes that I have to show you all are these platform-ish flip-flops. These flip-flops are so cute. They're actually just really basic. I just wanted a basic shoe. There's not much really to say other than they're black and they have a platform, honestly. The only problem is they're literally three sizes too small. I don't know if you guys know anything about Pretty Little Thing, but one thing about it, they're always gonna mess up your order somehow, some kind of way. Like it never fails. I usually always have to return something. But I actually think I'm gonna finesse this up and I'm not gonna return it even though it's literally three sizes smaller than my foot. I'm gonna figure it out because I like these shoes and they're out of stock now. They're pretty hard on the base, unlike other shoes that I have and have received. The next pair of shoes and one of my favorite pairs are these other flip-flops here now these the girls got some cushion these are very much so comfortable and they're my proper size obviously you can tell they're very much bigger than the other shoe i just showed you i love the shoe it's honestly it's like a cream off white color top and a um thicker black sole not necessarily platform it's just thicker than the average flop you dress them up dress them down wear a flannel with it make it cute Everything is likely in a size medium, unless I say otherwise. I am five foot half of an inch, so I'll take that into consideration when it comes to length and things of that nature. First thing on my list I have is this gray cardigan from Pretty Little Thing. It is in the size medium. It is more of a sweater, not too thick or thin, so it's really good for layers and or just to throw on if you need to run outside or run to the grocery store. This is actually my go-to cardigan. Like I. I love it. I wear it all the time. I usually keep this in my car because, you know, sometimes it gets cold with the cold of the weather. You just need something and it's easy. I got a size medium. Um, Usually I like things oversized, but it already comes in like an oversized look. That's kind of the look that they were going with. So if you like oversized, I would just get your normal size that you usually purchase because it comes oversized already there unfortunately are no pockets but it's not a big deal especially if you're wearing pants or a jogging pant or something anything will go with it honestly moving into top the first top i have is this nude-ish camel color high neck top to be exact it's called the stone slinky high neck race crop top it's a uk size 10 so i believe that's just a six in us size. literally purchased this because i have it in black and i liked and loved the fit of it and you'll see that shortly really silky material it's pretty stretched so you got a big head it'll make it through this feels really great on the body it's kind of a material of a skim this right here that i have on currently is not a pretty little thing this is skim and it actually feels similar to this but thicker and not as see-through which is what i love the most about here's it here's that slinky top once again same size just different color i love the black because one black makes you look really thin if you didn't know i don't know it just feels great on my body like i said about the first one i just love it this is what made me want to purchase in other colors instead of dress it down you can make it lounge you can leave make it. it dressy and classy it's honestly up to it's you it's black you can wear black with literally about anything it's definitely a staple piece in my wardrobe moving on to dresses i have two dresses to show you all this is the pretty little thing khaki cup detailed racer split midi dress it's also in a size 10 in the uk size and now this actually caught me by surprise i was actually just looking for staple midi dresses that just we're plain, no design or nothing, but actually on the dress, it has like a breastplate. It doesn't actually hold or support or anything. It just kind of accentuates when you put it on your body. I'm not mad at it. I just didn't expect it. It's a pretty long dress. As I stated, I'm five foot, half of an inch. So basically just five foot. And it does cover my feet just a little bit, but not too much that I feel like it's going to drag and dirty up my dress. It is very, very, very stretchy. So there's no worry in it being too tight and not being able to breathe within Second it. Second dress is literally the same exact thing, just in a maroonish color. It's just so cute. 
And then when you see it on the body, it just looks even better. It just cinches you in and makes you look really great. And it's a pretty basic color. You can do anything with this. You can throw on a nice cute little jacket. You can throw on any color shoe, literally any sandal, any sneaker. And the last bit from Pretty Little Thing and this entire video are pants. Disclaimer, I don't really like jeans that are too tight on me. I'm not really a skinny jean kind of girl. I'm a mom, boyfriend jean kind of girl. Because I love high-waisted pants. It just makes you look good. And me being so short, I kind of need things to accentuate my figure just slightly. So here are the first pair of jeans. These are the Vintage Wash Long Leg Rigid Skinny Jean. It says that it's skinny jean, but it's not the type that you feel like you're suffocating and like you're going to have a print of the jean on your leg. Anyway, these pants are more of a medium wash. It kind of has like some damp, dark denim within it and it's actually really cute. I don't have a pair of pants that look like this at all. We have obviously our pockets. Our front pockets are actually pretty deep for it to be a woman's pocket. Usually, you know how people like to do us dirty as women and give us those little skeet pockets? No. The leg is not necessarily a skinny leg, but it's not more of a wide fit, so it kind of cuffs your ankle pretty nicely. Honestly, I overall love the look and love the feel of these jeans on my body. Pretty little thing always wins with me in the jean department. And last but not least, I have these other light wash pretty little thing jeans i've worn these a couple of times this is actually a pretty little thing petite pants so it's actually made to fit us little tiny legged women <laughs> so embarrassing being so little but anyway we love that people are catering to us As i mentioned pockets are pretty much the same on the bottom the bottom is the gag they're high-waisted obviously they look good they cinch in the waist you look real snatched but the bottom they are more of a wide leg ish but it has a cute little slit so if you're a heels girl it's gonna look bomb when you walk in your heels and it has a cute little slit I wore these for my birthday when I went to Atlanta and honestly, girl, I gave to the girls. You can literally dress this up, dress this down however you like. It's definitely the jeans for me. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Aside of the shoes, I'm probably going to wear all this stuff within this time frame because it's not extremely, extremely cold yet. This is stuff you can layer up and make cute and fit to the, the weather. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.